as part of the clinical trial programming series so we will see how to derive a baseline flag in sdtm vs data set the vital signs data set of sdtm the input data set used for this example and also the complete code for this example can be found in the description of this video so here on the left we see a screenshot of the final output that we are going to generate and the key thing that we need to have as an input is the definition of baseline so in the notes the baseline is defined as the last known assessment on or prior to the reference start date so before we go into how to derive this programmatically let us take a look at the input data set and then try to manually identify the baseline based on the requirement so here we have our input data set along with the variable that we are going to create so first we need to identify the eligible records for baseline the requirement for uh, qualifying as baseline is has two components the first one is non-missing result and the second one is the collection has to be on or prior to the reference start date so let us take a look at each record and then see if that record is eligible for qualifying as baseline so on the first record we have non-missing result and we have the collection on 10th Jan whereas the reference start date is 15th Jan of 2010 so this record meets both the conditions so this is eligible and then let us take a look at the second record the second record has a non-missing result and the collection is prior to reference start date so this record is also eligible for considering as baseline on the third record if we see the collection is prior to reference start date but the result is non missing the result is missing so this record does not qualify for our process of identifying the baseline and then we have this record which has a collection on 15th Jan so as per definition on or prior can be considered so this record is on the date of reference start date and we also have a non-missing result so this record qualifies for being called as a baseline so and we have collections on 16th and 18th of Jan so these are after the reference start date so these do not become eligible for this so the after we identify the eligible records we need to find the latest of those records so we have a collection on 10th 11th and 15th so out of these three the 15th is the latest record with non-missing result so this record it qualifies for baseline flag so we have identified the baseline flag theoretically based on the definition here so now let us take a look at the programming steps that that have to be used to generate this flag so the main steps are subset the records that qualify for baseline and then identifying the latest record and then using that latest record to populate the baseline flag on the parent data set so uh, in the input data set which we have so we have already have the reference start date available so no additional processing is required so I am just creating a copy of vital signs data set which is provided to us and then we are coming to the step where we need to subset the records that qualify for baseline there were two components one is non missing result and the second one is it has to be the collection has to be on or prior to the reference start date so we are making use of a where statement within a data step to filter those records here if you see non-missing result is being checked with the condition of vs or res not is equal to missing and on or prior to condition is being checked with the condition of missing less than vs dtc less than or is equal to reference start date now let us take a look at the data set that gets created out of this code that is base 01 so we have manually identified that there were three eligible records so the one was 10th 11th and 15th Jan records so if we take a look at the base 01 data set we should have also have those three records so the code is working as expected and we have only those three records which are eligible for baseline records so and the next step out of this is to identify the latest record of these three 
so the next step is to identify the latest record in order to identify the latest record we can make use of the by group processing within a data step but if we have to make use of by group processing we will have to pre-sort the data set with the required variables so here in order to uh, filter the latest record using first out last out concept we need to make sure that we need to fetch the latest record on at the end so when we sort by subject test and dtc in ascending fashion what we will happen is the latest record would become the last record in the subject and test cd combination so in the next step what we can do is make use of the last dot test to identify the latest record so let us take a look at the base 0 to data set that gets created out of this piece of code and see if it is actually identifying the latest record yeah if you see now out of 10th 11th and 15th with the piece of code the data set which we have is the 15th jan record so the latest record is identified so once we have the latest record identified we will have to make use of the key variables that identifies a record the key variable that identify the baseline record in this scenario is the subject test cd and also the date so we need to make use of these three pieces of information and flag vsblfl as y in the parent record so this can be achieved with a simple merge step we'll see how that code works so if you see we are merging our base 02 data set to our parent vs01 data set by subject test cd and dtc so in the base 0 data set we only have the records which correspond to the baseline so any record which is coming from base 02 at subject test and vs dtc level are our baseline records so we are making use of the in is equal to operator on the data set in is equal to data set option and giving a temporary variable named b so which indicates that a record with a particular time point is coming from this data set and that record is nothing but our baseline record so we are making use of if b then vsplfl is equal to y so also we need to make sure that we are only keeping the key variables when we are merging the data set otherwise the variables from base 0 to data set which have common names in vs01 would overwrite the values in vs01 data set so this is how we derive our baseline flag in sdtm vs data set thank you for watching